it's been a long time since the last Flutter video. So let's take it slowly, or let me take it slowly. Today we will do something very simple yet important. We will see how we can use HTML messages in our uh, email application. So what do I mean by that? Right now the messages are just simple text and it would be nice to have some ways to style those messages. So for example, to have a possibility to add title, to add links, to make some text bold, etc. So the best or the simplest way for now would be to use uh, just HTML. So in order to do that, we need to first change our uh, API because right now the API is returning uh, just those messages, just as, as text. So let's go to the message uh, class. And here we are doing this uh, request to our API. So we predefined the responses. So let's open this. And as you can see, this is just the, uh, just the JSON with, some, with the body, which is just the text. So let's change that. So in order to do that, we will copy that because we don't want to do, the changes won't be so dramatic. We will just go to the creation of another endpoint and we will paste our previous response. And here we will just change some things. So for example, I will add a link which will open the google.com when clicking on, the, on those two words. That's the first change. And the second change would be to add a phone number. So an ability to click on the link, which will open the, the number uh, selection. Let's say that here we will do ref. And instead of using HTTPS, which is a protocol for web pages, we will use tell and we will write some number and the number again this time formatted maybe it's just an example the important part is the format how you define so for the web pages it's uh, https so, and then the name of the link and it's very similar for the telephone so it's also a link but the protocol is different it's tell for telephone or phone <clears throat> and the number so this number will be pasted and this is the thing displayed to the user. So you can write anything here and this needs to be a proper phone number. Okay, so we did this change and let's uh, generate this response. So now whenever someone hits this URL, it will get this response. As, as you can see, here we have our link and our uh, phone number. So let's go back to our application and let's replace this here. So this one we can remove like so. And now if we reload our application, we should get this new uh, data. And that's the case. It's, the, it's displayed as before. So it's treated as a raw text. So it's not yet interpreted because we haven't done anything. It just displays the characters as a string. So we've written it this way and it's displayed uh, this way. So now we need to take this uh, text and make sure that those parts, the HTML parts, are interpreted and displayed as in HTML. So for that, we will fetch a plugin called Flutter HTML. So we need to add it to our pub spec as before. And now in the place where we display the application, which is the message detail, we need to replace this text. This is the this place over here. We need to replace it with HTML, which is from the library we just added. Okay, but this widget expects parameter called data, and this is where we will put our uh, body. So let's see. And now, as you can see, it already works out of the box. Our link is now displayed as a link, as an HTML link, and the telephone as well. But if I click on those, nothing really happens because we have to implement this behavior. But it's very simple with HTML, so we can just hover here or maybe click 
and see what's available. And we see that there is this onlink top, which sounds as a, a method we need. So let's go back here. So let's write onlink top. And this takes a link, which was clicked. And we need to do something now. So we need to open, for example, a web browser, if this is a link, a web link, a HTTP link. So that, that's our first scenario. And if this is a telephone, a phone number, we need to open the, the number selection of our phone. In order to do that, we will use another package, which actually is a plugin in Flutter called URL Launcher, like so. And this plugin provides a method called launch. So we can just get the link we need to import this. So we are importing from the URL launcher, the method launch. The callback defined for the onlink tab receives the actual link we defined for each of those tags. This is a longer operation because we need to open this new view. So it needs to be performed using await. So we need to await for this. So in that case, we need to transform this callback into an asynchronous callback like so so that should be enough and now if i click yeah so there's something funky with this plugin if you add this you need to stop your application and then start it again restarting for some reason doesn't work so let's do that let's stop the application okay so our application is now restarted if we go to our message and we click the browser is open if we click on the link and if we click on the phone number we are being redirected to the number selection so it works as expected but we can improve it even further so for example there is a method in this url launcher plugin you can check if this link uh, can be uh, launched and this is a good way to verify before we actually launch so this is also the an asynchronous method so we need to await we need to handle else for some reason we cannot launch this link what should happen so for example you can throw an exception here something of uh, that sort we will improve that later now in our email application we are able to display messages which are more pretty we can add links we can also add bold text, italic and headers, etc. Anything that exists in HTML can be now easily treated using this uh, approach. So that's all for today. See you soon in the next episode of Flutter in Practice.